we're able to safely accommodate patients, and it's time to get back to medical care as it was before COVID-19. Now we have adequate protective equipment for both the patients and the staff, anesthesiologists, surgeons, and we're able to test people to know if it's safe for them to proceed with surgery and if it's safe for everyone in the operating room with them when the surgery occurs. We've instituted a lot of safety protocols to make sure it's safe for the patient and for our workers who are taking care of our patients. So there are thorough screening processes before the date of your surgery. We'll be giving you direction on how to take care of yourself and minimize your contact with COVID-19. And you'll also notice that the people who receive you will be more gowned and gloved than what you're used to. And then on the day of your surgery, um, we will check your temperature and check your vitals and make sure it's, it's safe to proceed. What you won't see are probably the bigger changes and that's how the rooms are sterilized in between cases and the um, safety equipment that the anesthesiologist and scrub nurses will be wearing. But right now, um, it's, it's safer to come to the hospital and have a surgery than probably walk through the produce section of some of our grocery stores. I'd like them to not be overly afraid of, of COVID-19 and proceeding with keeping themselves healthy. COVID-19 is going to be here three months from now, six months from now, a year from now. And short of a vaccine showing up within the next few weeks, we're very concerned that people are putting off other problems like heart disease and cancer and orthopedic problems. Um, and you really need to keep yourself healthy.